I'm, I'm here in San Francisco, California because I am the CEO of a charity, UK-based charity called Plastic Oceans, which we set up about two or three years ago. And we've been making a cinematic film for the last two years. And I'm on a fundraising exercise to secure the remaining funds. Uh, the film involves filming um, plastic in the marine environment around the world. So we've traveled to Sri Lanka, to Tasmania and to many other regions to identify just how extensive the problem of plastic is. And uh, we've been shocked by what we found. We've had some of the world's top scientists who have um, uh, examined whales, they've examined the bird life in remote areas, and without fail they found extensive plastic in the guts of those animals. And to illustrate that, there was a whale that was found with over 400 pounds of plastic in its gut, which died. We've um, looked at uh, a bird, a rare bird, called the shearwater, shearwater birds in Tasmania, where the chicks are fed by their parents, who only feed from uh, the ocean some thousands of miles away and return with the food for the chicks. All those chicks have plastics in their stomach and they're becoming endangered because of the amount of plastic. So I'm here to uh, raise the funds uh, to allow us to finish and distribute that film. It's um, a cause which I'm passionate about because it's also got major implications for human health. And if you have young children, which I do, uh, I'm concerned about the environment which we're leaving those children. And uh, the presence of plastic in the marine ocean has serious implications for the food chain and the food that we eat and our children eat. And scientists have demonstrated uh, recently that there is a correlation between uh, the food that's absorbed by uh, people and increasingly chronic diseases. And to illustrate that, the, there's a link with estrogen-driven breast cancers, uh, which is increasingly prevalent amongst even younger women now. Uh, there's a link into um, endocrinal disruption, uh, which is a feature of uh, many uh, human health problems. And there's a link even into type 2 diabetes and obesity, which is surprising that scientists have established a causation associated with the inflammatory response to toxins in the gut. So uh, there's enough evidence to suggest that we should be concerned about what we're doing to our marine environment not just because we're um, polluting the environment, but we're polluting ourselves as well. So that's why I'm here. What our film wants to do, or what we want to do with our film, is to raise awareness around the world, because this is a problem which besets not just the developed nation, but the developing nations where a lot of the plastic ends up. Most of the production starts in the developed nations, uh, but unfortunately we're shipping it out to the developing nations. And we filmed uh, certain um, uh, communities in the Philippines and elsewhere where children are basically living amongst plastic mountains. And they're harvesting the plastic, so they're making an economy out of our plastic waste, which some say might be a good thing, but uh, the detriment to their health and to their environment is catastrophic and we seem to be turning a blind eye to this. Plastic production is going up exponentially and when you see some of the statistics you suddenly realize that uh, we can't continue to produce the billions of bottles of which are disposed of every year, the billions of plastic bags uh, which have a lifespan of a very short lifespan because most of them are single use, they're not recycled. So we're concerned that we have, we're not a, um, a charity who wants to ban plastic. What we want to do is to make people responsible for the disposal of plastic and aware of the harm to the environment if you dispose of it irresponsibly. And we're solutions driven. We're not just here to tell people about the problem, we're here to tell people about the solutions. There are many solutions available to us as a society which involves, amongst other things, uh, reduction of use so we don't use as much single-use plastic as uh, we do. Uh, we reduce the level of production of that plastic. We look for alternatives to that plastic because the technology now is being developed to allow us to use safe alternatives which are disposable, which are biodegradable, all of which have pros and cons but certainly should be examined as feasible economic alternatives. And we know the plastics industry has to protect its bottom line and we've been in discussion with the heads of the plastics industry and we want to work with them because 
we recognise that plastic is an integral part of our society. It's, it's vital for many purposes, not least to which the medical um, uh, sector and other areas where we can't do without plastic. Uh, but what we're saying is that we have to use plastic and let's dispose of it sensibly and let's regard it as a commodity that's valuable, not a, not a wasteful commodity, not something to be disposed of uh, casually or irresponsibly, but to be recycled as an energy source, which it is. Most of it is petrochemical. Uh, it costs us, we use 8% of our petroleum resources to produce the plastic, uh, half of which is in distributing it, but the rest is to actually produce the plastic. That is an expensive use of a scarce resource. So we should make sure that we're not just leaving it in the environment. So there's a level of ignorance at many levels within the corporate, within the social hierarchy, which has surprised me and disappointed me. And if we can uh, try and break down that, it's not indifference, it's lack of awareness. If we can change that, I think people, when they know, will want to change it. And we filmed uh, Sir David Attenborough, who is extremely well known in the UK and I think is also well known in the US. And he regards this as one of the most important films of our time. And he says quite categorically that his experience, many years of experience about environmentalism, to use that word, it, I don't think he'd like the word because he regards it as, as really just watching the world around us, etc. That when people are aware of the problem, they want to solve the problem. And what we want to do is make people aware of the problem.